Hi guys, Truthman from Overclocking TV. We're here at uh, at Gigabyte in the TP101. Uh, right beside me, there is Dino. He's actually overclocking one of the systems with the uh, Z97X SoC Force LN2. The, that special uh, that special bot we did present uh, just a few videos ago. So, hi Dino, how are you, and what are you doing here today? Hey, hi guys. Uh, yes, we are testing the new motherboards. Uh, they are fantastic memory overclockers but uh, we're also going to show off the full max CPU frequency uh, overclocking and uh, we're also preparing for the Kingston uh, competition for tomorrow and uh, testing some chips and one of them is doing very close to 6.7 gigahertz 32 amp super pi so it's gonna be a crazy day tomorrow that's actually what we were testing just before we did the, that video. Uh, how long did, you, did that take you to, to get this chip and find it? And uh, actually, which, which chip is that exactly? This is a Haswell uh, 4770K. It's the same chip that we used in April to break all the world records. We just never tested it in 2D. So I figured, all right, let's just try that too. Uh, so this chip is a 6.5 3D chip. It does some tests, like 3D Marker 1 we did at 6.6. So it's a f amazing uh, CPU, right? Uh, so basically now, you know, it looks like it's also a crazy good 32M chip. So wow, it's going to be awesome. I haven't benched 32M for at least a year, you know, so it should be fun. Good. And actually, uh, how many chips did you test to find that one? Did you bend a lot of CPUs or that's uh, random luck? No, it's not. Right? Yeah, we test, we... You know, Gigabyte obviously has access to a lot of CPUs, uh, like all the other manufacturers, right? So uh, I don't know what amount we test, but obviously it's got to be quite a few chips, right? Uh, and this is definitely a unique CPU. I mean, but the you know, I think there are a few out there which are even faster. So it's it's uh, it's probably not the best CPU there is, but uh, it's definitely very close to it. And uh, we also. You know, a lot of the guys that we bench with, you know, Team AU guys and, uh, uh, you know, Step on Z and Vivi and, you know, these, are, these guys are very efficient uh, clock for clock, right? So it's not all about the big clocks. We can, we can compete with 100 or 200 megahertz less on CPU and still be able to beat guys uh, with Mac frequency. So it's, you can extract the most out of the platform. And that's what it's all about. I, I enjoy that the most, actually. So. Perfect. And uh, actually, the, you were testing the, the, uh, the special LN2 board. Yeah. That's a limited edition, right? Yeah. And uh, you were testing the memory. You broke the memory world record like this week, like uh, the, uh, during the press conference. Do you think you can do even better at the, especially at the Kingston event tomorrow? Yes. <laughs> oh, you already tested, and you're you already have the backup. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this board is the best memory overclocking motherboard in the world. I mean, that has been developed on especially for that. You don't even have the, the mounting all around the, the CPU circuit just to get the, the dim slot closer to the CPU circuit. So. Yeah, we, we're actually getting a lot of questions. People are saying, oh, how come it doesn't have mounting holes? Uh, I was just discussing that with uh, Jackson from our uh, engineering and uh, performance team that we have actually tested the difference between the mounting holes and non. And even though it is quite a small difference in trace length, it affected the speed by 100 megahertz. So it is, we would rather worry about figuring out how to mount. And I'm sure you guys took the video of some mounts that we we're doing. One of the mounts that we were using was no mount. So Carl here basically just put his very heavy CPU port and he was benching XTU. So basically that's like Prime 95. He was getting almost max clocks that we were benching a couple days ago. So. Uh, and I'm using a Gyro Kosi. I don't know if Gyrox made it, but from Gyrox, I'm from Japan. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the Japanese guys have a top mount pot where they screw in the the CPU pot, which and is and they push it on the main board. So right? They all. It's not really even for pressure, just to hold it there. You know, I'm I'm uh, because especially if you're benching 2D on memory, you don't really need a big uh, a strong mount. In fact, I. Sometimes at home I'm lazy and I just have a very heavy, I have a heavy gold pot and I just normally put it, put it and quickly, you know, get to the 6465 3D and just do some like 3D Marco 3. Most of my scores were like that, you know, just boom, 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 done in one hour, you know.
I mean, it's like there is no mounting hole, there is no insulation at all. Also, there's just insulation on the main board, and that's it. There's no no insulation on the pot either. <laughs> no need. <laughs> actually, Why? <laughs> actually, there is, there is insulation, but it's a very thin layer uh, because the memory dim slots are closer to the CPU socket, and uh, to reduce the uh, length of the traces that go to the dim slots, to improve the the memory uh, overclocking, basically. So. There is purpose to this madness. <laughs> it's just a matter of compromise, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, thank you, Dino. Thanks, man. I uh, hope uh, you guys going to keep on enjoying the, this year. So that was the, the Gigabytes Overclocking Show. There is uh, iCookie, Sophos, and Dinos uh, here today. They are all working for Gigabyte now. And uh, there's also Dakosa, Sniper O's, and Sin0822. So we hope you guys like this kind of video. Don't forget to give up a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and don't forget, keep pushing it. Yay! <laughs>